To create ray trace reflections in Unreal Engine, first let's switch the viewport from lip mode to reflections. Currently this is using Lumen for the global illumination and the reflections. So let's go to the project settings, scroll down and find the rendering section, then collapse all the sections until you get to the global illumination and the reflections. We want to switch uh, the setting for support for hardware ray tracing to on. It will require caching, so choose yes, and then you'll have to restart and save your scene. Back in the editor, let's go ahead and zoom in. And let's go back into our project settings, back into rendering. And this time we have the option to adjust the reflections from Lumen to use the regular standalone ray trace. This also affords us the ability to switch Lumen off in place of screen space for the lighting. From there, we can go back to our scene and you can see we have much more accurate reflections right now. If we go ahead and show our FPS counter, you can see that because we're not using Lumen for the global illumination, we actually have a pretty healthy FPS. If you need to increase the light on your reflections, you can add a post-process volume. And then if you scroll down, there is a section for ray trace global illumination as well as ray trace reflections. Inside there, there is a max bounces option. You can just simply increase this and you'll notice the lighting will pick up on your reflections.